So up lads, welcome back to another video. I'm back on the Silent and Fan channel. I do apologise for not uploading on this channel for over a month now. Um, but I will try to get, start getting more uploads on here as well. Um, but today, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be doing a match reaction to the Southampton vs Wolves FA Cup 5th round tie, which ended in a 2 0 win for the Saints, which means they advance to the quarterfinals. We'll talk about the quarterfinals later, but first, for the match reaction, we played very well. We dominated Wolves pretty much. I think they only had one good chance the whole match, uh, which also we could say about Forster, who, funny enough, has now played four games in this season and kept four clean sheets, of, of course, against the Liverpool one. Albeit in all those four games, he hasn't had to do too much. I will give it to him. He's made a couple of good saves, but he hasn't had to like do any fantastic performance. Even against Liverpool, only had to make a couple of saves. Shrewsbury in the cup again, only a couple of saves. Um, Arsenal in the cup again, didn't have to do much. And then Wolves in the cup tonight again, I think it was only that one good save that he had to do with his feet and that was it. Um, so yeah, Forster, we'll get on to him in a minute. Let's get on with the match first. Um, Sanson, obviously we went 1-0 up, um, just after half time after Armstrong practically missed an open goal. Um, well, it wasn't really an open goal, but it was a very, very good chance. And then Danny Ings, a bit fortunate, but we did, we definitely deserved it. Basically had a shot off Ruddy if he hadn't seen it and Roddy, Roddy, Ruddy put it, parried it back off his leg and it went in to the back of the net. Um, Wolves, they didn't really push for an equaliser, only a little bit towards the end they kind of did. And then we got a second pretty much in the last uh, um, minutes uh, when Stuart Armstrong um, scored. Uh, Nathan Teller did good work to pounce a mistake from Ruddy, or kind of force one, force a mistake of him. And then he did well with his feet, played off to Armstrong, who scored 2-0, game done. And then we had a penalty in injury time, in fact, although it was judged by VAR to be outside the box, so then it wasn't it was overall decision. But it doesn't matter, we came away 2-0 winners in the end. Um, and we are going through to the quarterfinals, where we will play Bournemouth, the best possible draw, the only championship team in the draw, uh, the others are all Premier League teams, so that's definitely the best draw. The only probably thing better, maybe we could have got them at home, because our away form, I don't think we've won an away game in the league um, since November against Brighton, which isn't great. Obviously, in all competition, that ran came to an end. That ran? That run came to an end yesterday against Wolves, which is a good win for us. Um, but now we'll be away to Bournemouth, I think, on the 20th or 21st of March. So quite a long while away, six weeks away. And that could be, that's a long time in football. We've got quite a few games before then, so we could be in completely different places. And there's a very good chance to get to Wembley. It's a bit like when we played Wigan in the quarterfinals a few years ago. Um, and we got to Wembley then. I mean, to get to the semi finals would be a great achievement this season. Um, again, we've already knocked out the holders as well. We've knocked out Wolves, who are a solid Premier League team. Um, and I think us and Wolves are in a very similar place. Um, we're both not having great seasons when um and we both probably saw the cup as a good opportunity to get into Europe or probably our best opportunity at this point. Um, and they just they didn't look up for it really. Wolves, I think they put out quite a rotated team. Probably like Arsenal concentrating more in the league, but I do really want to be in the league as well just to get some league form going again. Obviously, our league form is absolutely shocking at the minute, but um, you know, I think yeah, I think we should um beat Bournemouth I mean if we don't we'll never hear the end of it from them will we but um you know um yeah Bournemouth I think we'll, they'll definitely be up for it they definitely will I think only Bournemouth have made the quarterfinals once before this season um but you know we we should definitely have show our Premier League experience and they're quite a young squad Bournemouth um with a mixture of old players in there um but I think we should definitely pull the win off there and get through to Wembley but at the FA Cup we've got to take it one game at a time um, so once we beat Bournemouth, we'll be at Wembley. Who knows? But it'll be very tough to get past. If we do get past Bournemouth, it'll be very tough the semi-finals because there's not one bad team in it really now. I mean, Bournemouth, they're not a bad team at all, but they're definitely not on a level compared to any of the other teams. I mean, you've got Chelsea v Sheffield United. If Chelsea don't get through that, something's gone wrong there. You've got um, Man United v Leicester and Man City v Everton. So all those six teams are very difficult. Obviously, Sheffield United's the big um, kind of... Um, you know, one that's standing out that's not as good, but you know, it's still they're a Premier League team at the end of the day. So, <clears throat> yeah, Saints. I definitely think the FA Cup. I've thought this since the start of the season. FA Cup is definitely a big priority for us this season. Um, pretty much, 
maybe when I we drew Arsenal, it kind of went away a little bit. It was like, oh, we draw, we draw Arsenal, you know, the FA Cup merchants. But um, you know, at the end of the day, um, we beat them one nil. Um, we beat, we haven't conceded a goal in the FA Cup yet, which is great. Um, and yeah, hopefully that will continue against Bournemouth. Hopefully that will continue for the entire competition. We go on and win it all the way and win it. Is it very possible? Is it very likely? No, but you never know. The FA Cup, anything can happen. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much about that. I did want to quickly talk about Fraser Forster also as well. Um, he's putting a very good case to start now in the league. Um, McCarthy hasn't been on the best form. I do really rate McCarthy, though. I think I really um, do like him as a goalkeeper. But, I mean, when you concede in 12 goals in two games, it's not um, an ideal um, sign, is it? Albeit, I think Forster... I think we'll give McCarthy one more go. If he makes a mistake again, I think it will be time for Forster to come in. Um, and I think we just need to buy a new keeper in the summer anyway. I mean, even if Forster does go in, I think he's 33 now or 32. I know for a goalkeeper that's not particularly old, but, you know, um, and you do really, if we, can, if we are going to push for Europe, I do think we will need a little bit of a better goalkeeper. Um we definitely have the players to do that as well. You know, the likes of Ings, Will Prowse have been class. Westergaard, Walker, Peters, they've all been absolute class this season. Um, in Bertrand also is another one I want to talk about. He was probably my man in the match last night. He played very well, um, but his contract's running out. We need to get that sorted out. I don't know what the situation there is. I don't think there's any talks going on, but it runs out at the end of the season. And there aren't that many better options out there than Bertrand at the moment. So I think we need to get that sorted. Um, and also with Ings as well, I think we need to get that sorted if we are to keep him because if we don't, if he didn't sign a new contract before the summer, I think we could be in real trouble. But anyway, guys, that's going to have to do it for today's match reaction to the Southampton versus Wolves match. I'm doing a lot more match reactions at the minute as well on my Pussy Fan channel, which the link is in the description if you want to go and check that out. My main channel is why I don't um not upload on here as often. Um, but they um, if you're a bit big fan of that channel and for sticking around this song, I'm going to give you a reward. Premier League predictions with me and Aaron is returning, um, returning, returning as soon sooner than you think. So go subscribe to that channel, and turn on the notification bell because, as I said, it's returning sooner than you think. So yeah, thanks for watching today, guys, and that was a little reward for you for sticking around till the end of this video. Um, what do you think? Can Saints maybe win the FA Cup? Um, I don't want to take it too far because it's Saints. You never know. Uh, you can never get too confident, can you? But um, yeah, thanks for watching today, guys. Leave a like if you enjoy. Remember to subscribe to this channel. As I said, I'm going to try and bring out more content soon. Um, and we've got Wolves in the league next. Hopefully the same result as ten, um, tonight, yesterday. And I'll see you guys soon.